cold and mourning after a longtime Gulliver employee is found dead in Southwest Miami Dade. Hector Torres was a softball coach at that school. Yeah, he was last seen last week, and Miami Dade police have been looking for him until this morning when that search ended. CBS 4's Gary Nelson has more from the school in Pinecrest. 52 year old Hector Torres went missing last Tuesday along with his 2002 black Chevy Yukon SUV. The body of the Gulliver Preparatory Academy girls softball coach was found early Monday morning here at Coral Reef Park. Police say Torres killed himself by hanging. His Yukon was parked nearby. Gulliver issued a statement expressing deep sorrow. Hector was a valued member of our Gulliver community. His contribution on and off the field have left a lasting impact on so many of us. We express our most heartfelt condolences to Hector's family and friends. A tenant in this home that Torres owned, where he lived in a rear efficiency, told us that Torres was not married, never saw any children around, and apparently had a girlfriend in Spain. At Gulliver, where some students were preparing for the opening of the school year Thursday, news of Torres' suicide was a blow. Uh, he was a really good guy. He always did the best for the class. It's a shame. It's a real loss. Torres not only brought girls softball championships home to Gulliver over a period of more than 20 years, but he was known and respected internationally, a Pan American Games champion. <laughs> A member of the coaching team that brought the 2004 U.S. women's softball team to an Olympic gold medal in Athens. Police have released nothing as to why Torres would want to commit suicide, hang himself in a park if he left a note, investigators are not saying. Police haven't said how Torres' body came to be found a little after 2 o'clock in the morning here at Coral Reef Park. Gulliver has crisis counselors at the school to help students and faculty cope with the tragedy. In Palmetto Bay, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.